This is an overview of what we're trying to do with putting quarter panels on this car while at the same time fitting the uh, factory fender skirts. The quarter panel patches come in two halves here, so the fitment of the wheel well is key if you want the uh, factory fender skirts to have a chance of fitting properly. So one of the first things that was done was to create a template of the wheel well uh, with uh, just some simple heavy cardboard such as here. And yes, I've um, bought a, a uh, welding table recently, hence the uh, piece of cardboard labeled as such. The beauty of this is that um, this template should fit the other side as well. Uh, you'll notice too, there's a little bit of a gap up here along the, the center. Uh, that's not critical because um, the top of the fender skirt's fairly, fairly straight and the top of the patch panels are both fairly straight too. So that's not a huge area of concern. What's more of concern is here in the corners, getting the overall length right and uh, of course the, uh, the shape of the corners. Uh, there's one more aspect about the um, uh, flanged edge of the panel that I'll, I'll discuss in a moment. As you can see, this job's already in progress. This piece has been cut off. So uh, that's that's why the clamps are the magnetic clamps are on there. And uh, always use cardboard to kneel on. It saves uh, both the knees in your pants as well as your own knees, uh, keeping you working on this kind of crap all the longer. So over here, <clears throat> the uh, template when flipped around also fits the other side of the car. Um, one point here too, the uh, left side of the car is in markedly better condition than the other side, uh, rust wise and dent wise. So uh, we'll use this, we'll, we start on the worst side first. So we have this side to refer to for, for patterns and such. Um, the fender skirts, factory fender skirts, they have two tabs here there's another one just, just up above that keeps the fender skirt from falling in. And on the front, there's this um, eye here, this ovoid eye. And then there's a reinforced hole here. I may not, may not see the hole in this video, uh, but there's a, a heavy piece of metal behind there to reinforce um, the hole that's cut out. Maybe, uh, yeah, well anyway. So here's um, how the factory fender skirt does fit. The uh, front has this, uh, latching mechanism and the back has this pin so the um the latching mechanism of course uh, swings down in the front into that ovoid uh, bracket and of course the pin just uh, fits in the back here at the uh the rear of the quarter panel and then goes up as such apologize for the shaky camera work here that's what you get from an amateur you can see how how the tabs fit. There's tabs on the fender skirt and I won't install it all the way, but um, the factory fit of the fender skirt is, is not tremendous and we're not going for anything better than factory here. There's a large, um, large gasket to uh, take up the gap and um, also to minimize any rubbing between the skirt and the paint on the car. So that's what we're, we're after. Uh, what I've done Oh, in fact, here's the um, aftermarket front brackets. The one's missing on my passenger side. The one on the driver's side is um, is worn pretty thin from rust. So these, this of course would um, attach up there to the inner fender well. So we'll be using these later. They're aftermarket readily available from a number of sources. So let's um, <clears throat> let's take our template here and let's um, line it up and we can see, maybe, we can see that uh, this template and this spacing is a relatively good fit. I've put a scratch on the panels where they ideally overlap. Now you'll notice this flange is flat and um, here I have another fender skirt where the gasket is worn off. You can see the edge of the fender skirt has this bevel which helps keep it seated and of course the um, the factory quarter panel has a similar bevel so we're going to have to um, hammer and dolly that bevel into the patch panels uh, when, we, when we get the repair going. So on this particular car we had put an entire trunk floor in some time ago and had to uh, fabricate the trunk extensions there 
and um, what we did is we fabricated the trunk extensions and installed them with screws up against the original uh, fender inner quarter panel, the, uh, the, the section down in here, which is largely rusted away. So on this side, let's see, we'll take these clamps off and the quarter panel will drop off. Here's our um, rusted inner quarter panel. I'll take that off with the um, strips there. And you can see that um, a nicely manufactured aftermarket panel is readily available. So we'll be installing that as well. Uh, once again, uh, we have to work on the fitment though. And uh, with the fitment, I'm using the back of the car while I'm, I'm leaving the front of the quarter panel in place so I can align the back of the quarter panel half to fit the fender skirt as, as nicely as possible before setting it all up. The other approach too is to repair the wheel well the inner wheel well, or sorry, the outer wheel well, uh, the inner fender, as um, as closely to original as possible because we're going to use that structure to properly finish the proper placement of the new quarter panels. The uh, flange, let's see, you can see on the um, original piece here, the fairly narrow and flanged fender lip. So that's what we're gonna have to uh, re reproduce on uh, or bend into the, uh, aftermarket panel. You can see the panel, the equivalent portion of the replacement panel is wider and, and is almost perfectly flat. Not a big deal and that's actually probably by design so you can more easily fit it over top existing structures in, in uh, the case of many repairs. Now that I have both hands free you can see how nicely the template fits in the replacement panels mocked up. Uh, the replacement panels are from EMS, uh, all the panels I've shown you, and uh, they're very nice quality, 18 gauge, and uh, they're a very good fit for, for what replacement panels are. Nothing's a perfect fit, everything's going to need a little bit of work, and panels, in, in my experience, are also uh, set up to accommodate a, a varying uh, degree of rusty vehicles, where some are rusted all the way, like this one, where you can slide it right in there, while others you uh, may want to retain the external panel and um, and slide it in behind things. The metal on this car, uh, these 50s GM vehicles, seems to be 19 gauge, while the inner fenders are uh, lighter, uh, they're 20 to 21 gauge. So for the inner pieces that I make, I use 20 gauge. Uh, these uh, replacement panels, I, I realize that's an inner panel, but uh, these replacement quarter panels are 18 gauge, so they're very, very uh, close approximation to, to factory. Of course, um, you know, they're a little bit thicker than factory. We're going to be doing uh, butt welding, so the flange is going to come off, the uh, lap weld flange, that'll be cut off. And um, prior to fitting them up, there was a, some collision damage here, so that was all uh, banged straight and heat shrunk uh, with a torch to try and uh, restore the original dimensions of the car as close as possible. Now that I have both hands free, you can see how nicely the template fits in the replacement panels mocked up. Uh, the replacement panels are from EMS, uh, all the panels I've shown you, and uh, they're very nice quality, 18 gauge, and uh, they're a very good fit for, for what replacement panels are. Nothing's a perfect fit. Everything's going to need a little bit of work. And panels, in, in my experience, are also uh, set up to accommodate a, a varying uh, degree of rusty vehicles, where some are rusted all the way, like this one, where you can slide it right in there, while others you uh, may want to retain the external panel and, um, and slide it in behind things. The metal on this car, uh, these 50s GM vehicles, seems to be 19 gauge while the inner fenders are uh, lighter, uh, they're 20 to 21 gauge. So for the inner pieces that I make, I use 20 gauge. Uh, these uh, replacement panels, I, I realize that's an inner panel, but uh, these replacement quarter panels are 18 gauge, so they're very, very uh, close approximation to, to factory. Of course, um, you know, they're a little bit thicker than factory. We're gonna be doing uh, butt welding, so the flange is gonna come off 
the uh, lap weld flange that'll be cut off. And um, prior to fitting them up, there was a, some collision damage here. So that was all uh, banged straight and heat shrunk uh, with a torch to try and uh, restore the original dimensions of the car as close as possible. One other trick in the arsenal is to take this um, fender skirt, which might otherwise be junk, and um, take the pieces off. In fact, the um, attachment pieces are uh, just simply reversed. The rivets ground out and reversed, and that allows it to fit into the prospective new space uh, a little more effectively. So you know, obviously it's not gonna fit until I do the flange, but that will allow me to fit it up before uh, making the, the mounting holes and installing the mounting brackets. And um, the EMS panels, see if I can zoom in on, on the label, it's um, emsautomotive.com, very good quality materials. In case you're wondering about this structure down here, I had started about 20 years ago uh, working on the right side of the car, the passenger side, replacing the um, inner and outer rocker panel only to discover that the door gap wasn't correct and, and things just weren't lining up properly, uh, largely because the back of the car, the trunk floor was so badly rusted that the body mounts were collapsing and, and the car was out of spec. So the uh, proper approach is to work on the back of the car, come around the sides and then finish up the, the floor. And uh, that's what I've, I've begun to do. So right here, we have the inner rocker in place. And so much of the um, uh, inner structure was missing. This quarter panel really didn't have the right structure to um, approximate the, the correct dimensions, the correct location. So this um, grooved two by four is really just here. Uh, there's, there's pretty much uh, no weight on it. It's just here to align the lower edge of the quarter panel with the lower edge of the inner rocker. Uh, just for uh, the completion of this quarter panel repair. The uh, rocker and inner rocker aren't uh, fully welded together. They're held together in key spots with uh, screws at this point. And as I mentioned, as I finish the quarter panels and, and inner fenders on the back of the car, I'll move forward, advance forward, and finish up the sides of the car.